All right, guys, everybody wants to spin the golf ball back like a pro, and I'm gonna show you how to do it this week. All right, guys, so we're gonna talk about how to get spin on your next golf shot. Everybody loves seeing that PGA Tour player land it and suck it back towards the hole. And we're gonna make it easier for you to do that. So there are three keys to being able to spin a golf ball. First is you have to get into a position where you have a clean club face and you are creating as much friction as possible. We are looking to create a big differential between our dynamic loft and our angle of attack into the golf ball. The third key is going to be the speed that we create during our golf swing. How do you create friction? One of the easiest way to do that, and I get a lot of my players with this one, is make sure you have a clean club face. You do not want to find dirt in your grooves. Dirty clubs are the biggest killer of spin that I can see out of most amateur players, and a lot of you guys struggle with that. So once you get that, there are several keys to creating the best environment to create friction. First of all, if you're playing on a rainy day, that water that gets between the club face and the golf ball is going to cut down on the amount of friction that you can get on the golf ball. If you find yourself in the rough, that grass is going to cut down on the amount of friction that you can get on the golf ball because it sticks in between the club face and the golf ball at the moment of the strike. Okay, so once you can get that understanding out of the way, just hit more fairways. That's the easiest way when you can get clean contact onto the golf ball every time to create as much spin as possible and create as much friction as possible. Now the second theory, right? The second key is creating a, different, a differential between the dynamic loft of the club, so the loft that you are getting at the moment of in, impact and the angle of attack that the club is taking into a golf ball. So remember, a negative angle of attack is when the golf club is traveling down to the golf ball, right? So if you can get yourself hitting down on the golf ball with dynamic loft being more positive, you are going to create more spin. Now there's, there's an end to that amount. You can't add too much to it because you start robbing yourself of friction. The more speed a player can put into their golf shot, the more spin they will create, okay? So a higher speed player who makes good solid contact will always create more spin than a lower speed player who makes the same contact. So those are the three keys that you really want to create more spin. Create more friction at the moment of impact, change the spin loft, the difference between the dynamic loft and angle of attack, and create as much speed as you possibly can. Now I put out a lot of videos on how to create speed. I hope you check them out, and I hope this video helps you spin the golf ball more. Hey guys, if you like this video, click like, subscribe. I come out with new content every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thank you.